Hey guys, uh, current energy check-ins for the weekend. Uh, well, first of all, I want to thank you all um, for for the support I got. It, it kept me definitely balanced. Uh, my work is keeping me balanced. You know, I, I tell people that, yes, I'm going through quite a lot. We'll, we'll go through that a little bit after I'm done here, but um, right now with everything that's going on here. So uh, for those of you that are late to the game uh, and don't know what I'm talking about, I had to come for an emergency kind of a situation back in uh, Romania where I'm from, um, where I had a death in the family and I had to basically arrange everything for that because that's, you know, that's the only family members we had left. Um, so there's a lot of things involved in that. Um, I haven't been home in a very long time. So that was the first time I'm coming here. It was planned to come here uh, next year for a vacation to visit whoever was left here and do all of that. But it happened in this way. So there's, there was a lot of stuff at once and very fast. Uh, so thank you all for keeping me uh, somewhat balanced uh, with all the support, all of the everything. Like you have no idea how much that meant to me to, to have that here. Um, and the support I got from home and everybody there cheering me on like, you can do this, you got this. And um, it's been a lot. It's been a lot physically, mentally. I'm still kind of jet lagged. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of actually quite recovering, which sucks because in a couple of days, well, this video airs uh, Friday, so tomorrow, actually, so Saturday, I'll be coming back home and I'll be jet lagged from uh, that. <clears throat> so there's there's been a lot going on uh, from all aspects within this situation and, and involved here. Um, I got to visit my dad's, uh, what do you call it? His resting place for the first time because I couldn't be home when he passed in 2012. Uh, so it's, it's, it's been quite a lot from many, many points. Um, again, physically, mentally, I don't even know how I function anymore. I think, I think in the readings I did for you guys, at some point, especially the air signs, if I'm not mistaken, the ones that I did from here, I was so tired that I don't even know what came out of my mouth many times. Um, in terms of, like, the energies were flowing quite nicely, but the words that I had to put on there potentially were all over the place, so I apologize to the air signs for that. The other signs, I was a little more rested, and now I'm on the final stretch, so... The big chunk of stuff that I needed to do is um, almost done. I do plan to, if there's time, to take one full day for myself to to kind of honor that part of me being here after all this time and just going and visiting the place I grew up in, the, the area, the surrounding areas of that. and. I'm actually in the city that I that I was born and I grew up in, but I'm off to the side of it a little bit. So uh, for that day, I plan to just take a walk um, around the area I grew up in and just kind of, since I'm in this roller coaster of things, why not put that on me? You know, why the hell not? I might as well. Um, I'm super excited to get home. Uh, because this was not planned to happen like this and to get back here after all this time like this, but it is what it is. Um, someone had to do it. Um, so just basically wanted to, to uh, let you guys know that you just being there and keeping me hooked to work uh, through this, in the sense of me wanting to, of course, but seeing you guys there at the other end of it was definitely a, a big ass help um, and support for everything, even if you don't know it, and even if that wasn't the intention. Even the bad comments, 
okay um, eh, eh, you're not showing the cards i have a small table wouldn't wouldn't you want me to i'm in a hotel i don't have cards to show just in front of me so you're gonna have to take my word for it that it's it's my cards that i'm telling well not really i told you when i was tired i don't even know if i read them right in terms of what i saw but the energies of it i did i still get hooked up to that that keeps me keeps keeps a sense of balance through all of this for me keeps me up and it's hard to explain like i can't wait to to connect to these energies it's like oh okay something familiar something of mine um and also my virgo um venus and capricorn moon especially is not allowing me to just you know if you have a little bit of spare time you should work mm, great <laughs> but yeah it's it's been quite the ride I'm gonna need two weeks of spa when I get back home or just and I miss my baby so much um, yeah I think Juno's not gonna sleep on my chest for a while not with these energies that I'm bringing home she's gonna be like yeah you know what mama uh, see you in two weeks I'm gonna go sleep somewhere else um, blue is spoiled like crazy by my by my mom um so everyone's taken care of really well and um, i'm just grateful that that could happen in that way where i can just leave and not concern myself with that so it's been quite the ride I'm not done yet um it's just little stuff that i still need to take care of everything kind of and i felt this immense protection since i've been here and since all of this actually started happening but specifically since i've been here almost like i was being carried through everything and a lot of things did pan out in a very organic way in terms of paperwork and everything that needed to be done i didn't get the power of attorney in the end but you know i had all sorts of proof of relative like kind of stuff like everybody's birth certificates and to, to kind of tie us all up together so that that you know i had to write a lot of stuff but it is what it is um it actually played out quite good for the circumstances so yeah that's about it um not much to report um when i do get if because you know stuff could still come up but if i do get to um the area that i grew up in i'll potentially make a slide or something somebody suggested that in the comments i could do that if you know probably in the airplane because i'm probably not gonna sleep um put something together throw it in here for you guys to see where where i come from um i'll see We'll see, I don't necessarily like taking too many pictures. I'm not the picture taker char in charge usually because I, I kind of like to enjoy moments rather than um, take pictures. Sometimes I do, sometimes I do though, but you know, I'll try to split it half-half so that uh, we have a common ground here. I don't know if you noticed, um, in especially in this week's videos, past videos, if you look carefully, if you noticed how many orbs there are in here and i'm not surprised as i said i felt this massive presence of holding me through all of this <clears throat> um, from potentially all of my family <laughs> here and ancestors and all sorts of great energy of, of just support um i ate tribe soup every day because <laughs> that's my favorite romanian dish and it's like every day sometimes twice I'm not gonna lie uh when i could eat of course because you know sometimes i'm running so much that i'm like oh I, uh, oh i need to eat and when i did um, tribe soup was my goal which I'm probably gonna make some more at home because why not um but yeah yeah i didn't get to enjoy much of the food um that i missed for years because what food <laughs> anyways um i am taking care of myself as much as possible through everything and as i said right now i'm on a final stretch so it's more of a a little bit of a leisure time i still have to to take care of smaller things but 
anyways um yeah i believe we're good to go here um current energies check-ins for the weekend i'll be looking into each sign individually by elements uh earth signs fire signs air signs and water signs it'll be quick to the point no clarification whatever comes out comes out no extended for the friday videos um I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, which could be that of a person, a situation, an animal even, whatever you got going on there energetically, who knows, everything and anything. Uh, where the other energy is at in regards to you, where the connected energies are at, and then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for each of you. Timestamps will be below in the description box, in the comment section, on the play bar. This is pre-recorded and roles can be reversed that's about it i think we're good to go and I, a lot of you mentioned that i i have new hair new makeup no same old me different setting different lighting uh, different food potentially uh humidity is quite big and i caught the warmest days possible so no same old me it's just no makeup no nothing just you know just a little bit of a mess potentially because but i no same old me um but thank you for the compliments on my makeup and hair um none of that though but anyways let's get this going why am i oh okay um earth science capricorn <clears throat> potentially getting some allergies from here, because why not? Every time I go somewhere, I come home with allergies from there. Um, there's stuff flying around everywhere, which is beautiful. You know, spring, my favorite season, but it gives me stuff. Why not get some allergies too? Potentially, I'm not sure. It's something, something, something. Maybe it's gonna pass. All right. Uh, on your side, you get the Temperance card, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. You're being patient about something. I feel like you want to potentially express yourself in regards to a situation to someone. Like you want to you wanna say something to someone for quite a while, but you're being patient. It's almost like I'm waiting for the right time, you know? Um, okay. In the energy attached to you, the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords um this is an interesting energy because it almost looks like it's at a distance but not really because they want to get closer but they're not and uh, i'm not sure what's going on here this energy definitely seems like they're at a distance and not necessarily a physical distance but somewhat of a distance between the two of you energetical and it's not well for them this distance they don't like it they want to break it but i don't know I don't know. But anyways, for the connection, the King of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, the intention is this of let's bring it back together kind of a thing. And I feel like it belongs to the both of you because they're showing up as not agreeing with what's going on here. So it could be that maybe there's something to, to do, something to say to bring this back together. And that's where you're at with this. But you're not doing it yet. But it's coming. It's coming because the Ace of Swords is here. The intention is here. So it's going to come at the right time, uh, apparently. This action or words or whatever it is that's coming to potentially eliminate the distance here. Let me see what the universe has. The Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Devil. Yeah. There is a distance of some sort, and it could go both ways. It could be that this distance does make the heart grow fonder, or it could be that it leaves enough room for somebody to start overthinking things and complicating things, you know? Um, especially on your side, I see this two-way kind of a situation. So I feel like you're kind of playing with both energies sometimes. Okay, this gives me enough room to start thinking about it. So let's start. Uh, or, mm, I miss them so much, you know, kind of a deal. I don't know. This is basically what you're doing with the 
with the time that this distance creates. Um, I feel like it's it's gonna be okay ultimately once this action is being put into place. I feel like everything's gonna fall into place here. Um, the intention is definitely that on both sides, so. Anyways, and that's it. All right, moving on to Taurus. I don't know why, why I took a kind of a weird position here. I'm like, okay, that doesn't feel natural. Side. You get the Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, something is stressing you about a soul connection here. You're still moving in the direction of that soul connection, but with a little bit of uh, 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 like a almost like a heavy heart, a little bit. So I'm not sure what's going on here. I still see you open to that, whatever that is to you. Now the energy attached to you, the Strength card, the Three of Swords, the Hierophant. Um, this energy is going through something quite big and not in a good way, in the sense of something painful, potentially. Uh, so maybe that's why you're kind of approaching this energy, but trying to kind of steer clear of what's going on there on their side. But within the connection, so for the connection, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, there's a lot of love there, like a lot of love, and a lot of uh, nurturing kind of an energy, uh, self-nurturing and then towards another like a lot, it's, it's surrounded by a, an energy of that disconnection. What you're doing individually is, you know, kind of trying to navigate through everything that is at place here, but um, think of it as the both of you are going through stuff individually, but are wrapped in a bubble, and that's the bubble of connection, and it's filled with love and nurturing energies here. So it's pretty nice. Um, let's see what the universe has. The Two of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Three of Wands. You're at a distance too, but I'm not sure if it's a distance distance. It's the unknown. It's the I don't know what's going on at the other end of this. So it could be that whoever this is to you, you're not even talking or you're not, you just kind of feel the energies of one another or something. Because this is the kind of distance of I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. Somebody's up in the air about things here. They're feeling the energy of love and nurturing around them from this. But they look like they don't know what's going on at the other end of this. Like you can only know what's ahead of you, but you may not know what's going on on the other side of the fence here. Um, interesting. So, okay. Virgo. your people, earth signs, they're going to shit. Hold on. Okay. Um, on your side, you get the Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, you're moving towards another energy. Energetically speaking, you're moving quite slow, quite... Well, I hate it when I say slow to you guys, earth signs, because it's like, to you, it's like, what do you mean slow? To me, it's normal. I know. <laughs> um, quite natural in the direction of a connection, but you have a little bit of a blockage in the way, almost like, um, 
like you want to move but something is blocking you to keep on moving and the the moving towards whoever this is attached to you seems to be slowed down or not blocked not blocked it's still going but uh, harder at times and seemingly disrupted you know uh, but the energy is still flowing in the direction of someone here or something that's in mm, I think it's someone maybe it's a commitment but anyways um, the energy attached to you the Queen of Pentacles the Ten of Wands the Three of Swords yeah again whoever this is attached to you is going through something quite quite painful just as a reminder, I keep on seeing lately for the collective a, a massive death process. So people could be going through a lot of stuff right now. Um, and whoever's not aware of what their own experiences with that, it could show up quite ugly, you know, as dealing with that. So um, they're going through something quite big and they're having a really hard time taking care of themselves through this process, you know. Um, for the connection, the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Wands. <clears throat> I mean, this is almost like, you know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel kind of a thing. So even if things are difficult right now a little bit, it looks like someone's keeping their chin up. You know, someone's quite hopeful and quite, will be okay kind of a deal. And I kind of get the sense that it's the both of you. Um, so I'm not sure if you're going through something together or separate here through a little bit of a challenging time, but there seems to be that um, sense of hope here. And I kind of get the sense that the both of you are trying to focus on that, which is good. You know, it's definitely helping out the situation. Um, okay, let's see what the universe has. Five of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, yeah. And as a reminder, again, to that death process for the collective, that means that we're kind of collectively going to go through a rebirth process. So that's kind of what it's showing up here. You know, you're going from a little bit of tough time to better times. The light at the end of the tunnel is, like usual, better times. So you're kind of excited for that, you know. Don't be excited for a rebirth process because that's a tough one too but definitely feeling a little better than the actual death process. But looking like, okay, you know, I'm ready for the next step, even though I'm not gonna interfere with the flow of things. So there's no interference there. There's no, oh my God, can we please go there faster? Well, there is to some extent, but not to the extent of trying to rush the energy. So that's good. Okay. Man, this, that's how you guys start the reading earth signs you lead the way if you're starting it off like this let's see what the rest of us have um moving on to fire signs aries On your side, you get the Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. <sighs> You're really arguing with yourself here. Um, surrounding the energies that are at play that you're attached to, I don't see you in interaction with those energies uh, in, in the sense of, energetically speaking at least, arguing with somebody else at the other end of this this fight that i see here is almost you and you surrounding your pain uh that potentially is caused by a loss or a potential loss or a fear of loss so you're kind of going over and over through an energy of oh is this done like is this done for for good is this done for real is this you know around the acceptance of what's going on and 
there's nothing really clear about this energy. It's just showing up as an energy that harms you. It's coming from you, it's directed towards you, and it harms you. Um, and it's coming from a potential loss or a sense of loss over something or someone. And there's a lot of pain in there. And the going back and forth around this doesn't really help the situation. First, you need to accept where things are. If this is just a fear, then it's just a fear. Then it's you dealing with that fear. If this is a loss indeed, you need to start accepting how things happened, what happened there, and then take it from there. Uh, pondering around this and you know going in circles around this aspect will not help, will only harm you. Not in the way you're addressing it with that very, er, er, no, mm, uh, you know. Um, the energy attached to you, the death card, the empress, the king of pentacles. There seems to be a loss on this side as well in the sense of they're bringing the energy of loss. So it could have been that something was done in a particular situation. Uh, they're showing up as owning it. They're not showing up as fighting this energy you are that's why it's becoming more and more painful on your side they're showing up they're standing their ground and this is what this is so in a place of acceptance over it now what's going to happen after that's a different story first it needs to start with acceptance so that you know how to take things from here on out you know um for the connection the strength card the five of swords the hangman someone here has the audacity to tell me what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm standing still here. I'm in the moment. I'm accepting. I wonder who that is, especially since these energies showed up on your side. Uh, it takes a lot. I'm being strong here. Well, from where I'm sitting, the five of swords is there. So somebody here is lying when they're saying that. Um, and I can only associate that with your energy because I see what you're doing there, even if it's energetically. So let's say it's happening inside of you. Most of it, you don't even know exactly that it's happening in that way, you know, unless you're really tuned into yourself. But if you were to be tuned into yourself, you wouldn't tell me this bunch of crap here, you know? Oof. Me? <laughs> me affected by this? Do you know who I am? <laughs> uh, no, not to that. You're not arrogant in it. But... You know, you're definitely lying to yourself a little bit, saying that, no, I'm, I'm present, I'm, you know, it's not, I'm, I'm good. Well, I would check in with your energies there then, you know, double check. Never hurts to double check and to see if you're actually good in there. Because there's a lot of commotion happening there in your energy surrounding this potential loss. Um, and a lack of acceptance, especially over it. So, let me see what the universe has. <clears throat> The star, the justice card, the page of cups. Yeah, and then you're coming and telling me, oh, also, my biggest desire is for things to work out here. So you have the biggest desire for things to work out, and then you're telling me I'm peacefully accepting that things don't work out. And then I see your energies are like, ah. Do you think I was born yesterday? <laughs> Uh, no, it's a matter of aligning with what you truly feel and start working around especially the aspect of accepting it. Because this energy, the more you leave it unattended, the more it'll harm you. It'll block off your heart. And you won't have access to your heart anymore in the sense of feeling stuff, you know? And that's not good for you, personally. So. All right. That's where you are at with this one. Okay. Let's do Leo.
All right, on your side, you get the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups. There's a slight disconnection here at some point. Where is it? Let me see here. There's a break almost in your energy. It's very weird how it shows up. So you're showing up strong, confident, good, basically. And then there's a little bit of a split to your emotional side, to your energetical side. Um, but it's strong. That, that emotional side is open and strong there. But there's a, how do I put this? Like almost like a disconnection from your part where you're not necessarily gonna feel that <clears throat> but it's not disconnection, disconnection. It's it's almost like a little split. Like a think of it as you have this this tube, right? And there's a little hole in it, you know, that kind of makes the energy look like, oh okay, it's coming out or something. It's kinda of like that. It's very hard to explain this one. But overall you seem balanced, you seem good, you seem like you're strong in your energy there and also attached to your emotional side with a little something something there a, a, not a blockage a, a split of some sort I, it's hard to explain but anyways um the energy attached to you the temperance card the tower the knight of swords Ooh, this energy looks like a volcano here like it's sitting it's calm it says and once it takes off it's like let's go let's go let's go you know, I don't even know if, I, I don't know what kind of an energy it is. I just see it as just coming from a place of uh, dormant, you know, like, oh, we're good, we're good. And then boom, it takes off. It doesn't feel like a bad energy. It just feels like it's, it's what, what the hell is this, you know, kind of an energy. So I don't even know what, what this represents to you. But anyways, um, for the connection, the page of wands, the knight of cups, the knight of wands. Okay. Yeah, there's stuff going on here. There's a lot of stuff going on, even though seemingly from this angle here, it's like, mm, not a lot is moving. You know, everybody's fine here. Everybody's doing their thing. Well, this energy is moving, but it's coming from a place of not moving, you know, for a very long time. But as I said, when it starts moving, it moves. And then I see you responding to it. And it's an equal give and take kind of a sharing of energies here. There's passion, there's love, there's fun. There's all sorts of good stuff here. So, okay. <clears throat> Let me see what the universe has. The Four of Pentacles, the Devil, the Three of Cups. Oh, that's why this energy is coming in so abruptly. Because whatever energy this is that has been dormant potentially for a very long time is very stubbornly wanting to come in. But like breaking through the door, kind of coming in. A little unhealthy there in the way it shows up. A little like, <clears throat> and it's like, oh, you know. It's a good energy. <clears throat> the entrance aspect of it seems to be, uh, you know, kind of tricky there. Could be quite... Um, It's not angry, quite riled up, quite, mm, I said, so it has nothing to do with the space that it's entering. It has to do with this energy, not being able to contain themselves anymore to the point of breaking through doors kind of a thing, you know? So, okay. So damaging in the sense of they damage the door basically or something, you know, but that's it. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, moving on to Sagittarius.
On your side, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Moon. Um, <clears throat> you're showing up in this energy as um, definitely bonded to someone. Definitely, there's there's a connection of some sort here. I'm not sure where to place this one because on your side it's shown up a little different than it shows up on other sides of the reading in the sense of how you feel about it versus how it's shown up here. So, but it's a good one. Even if you perceive it in a different way than it's perceived on this side, you're perceiving it in a good way, in a partnering kind of a way. Um, <clears throat> with the moon here, you're not telling me everything about it in the sense of okay but how do you really feel about it that part you're like no um so far so good you're just keeping it to the surface there you don't want to reveal the depth of this okay <clears throat> we can respect that but i'm curious still so uh just so you know anyways four of wands ten of wands three of wands on the side of this other energy that's responding to this they're trying to be patient about something they're almost looking like they're waiting for something maybe for you to make up your mind or to reveal whatever this is but it seems like they're having a difficult time being patient about things here but they still are for the connection the queen of cups the five of wands the nine of cups this is looking like a push and pull kind of a thing of, um, it feels like 80% of the time you get along perfect. Everything's flowing so good. It's not even funny. It's like, oh my God. And 20% of the time it's like, oh yeah, now I'll show you. No, I'll show you. No, I'll show you. No, I'll, you know, you go on and on and on for that 20% space of this. So I don't even know what the hell this is, but okay. But it's kind of in standby, like it's it's to be determined what the situation is. It kind of looks like that. So it could be some sort of a relationship that's being formed um, into what it wants to be, you know, or what it wants to be next. Okay. From the universe, you get the magician, the two of wands, the tower. You're you're playing with this one a little bit. You're forcing it a little bit. I don't know if you're doing it on purpose, but as I said, this energy attached to you is looking almost like they're waiting for something, right? And you look like you keep them waiting intentionally. You're like, yeah, it's okay. We can wait a little longer. It's fine. We don't have to. Because it feels like the energies are trying to shift into something that the situation is. Um, and you know that. Okay. So let's say, this is just an example. It doesn't have to be this, of course. But let's say, you know, you're in a relationship with someone and that stage of, hey, let's move in together is coming in. It's getting close. And you know, you know it's coming in. It's like... Okay, you feel it, you talked about it, everything is in place for it, so you know it's coming. And it's like, yeah, we'll do it next month. And then next month comes, kind of like, oh, can I have two more months? You know, kind of with, kind of like that. So it's like you're keeping things on hold. Um, if that's the case where you know consciously that you're doing that, stop doing that. It's going to blow up in your face. Big time. Because you know what you're doing underneath all that? You're actually manifesting for things to go to the next level or wherever they need to go here. So you want for that to happen, but then you're the one that's kind of sabotaging that. Doesn't make sense, really. So the universe is just going to blast things in your face until you realize, what the hell am I doing? You know, so stop doing that if you're doing it on purpose, where you're, you're kind of delaying the process of this. If you're not doing it on purpose, just look into this energy and see if there's in any kind of way um, you sabotaging this at play. <coughs> Do I have a double? No. Okay. Alright, moving on to air signs, Libra.
Oh, my. Oh, well then I got a uh, good thing they didn't fly on the other end of the room because then I would have had to go around. No, 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 no. Um, this table is so small that only the spread that I'm doing is fitting on it, and that's it. And then uh, clarification, I put them on top of everything, and I can't see shit anymore because that's. I mean, I have a bigger table, but it's lower, and I don't like to bend that much on, over it. I'm like, this is good enough. But anyways. Okay, on your side, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Tower. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so you're putting effort into something. It's looking like it's going all right, whatever this is. It could be tied up to work, but it could be tied up to something else as well, like a, a, a relationship of some sort, because I am seeing a soul connection here. But putting effort into something, putting work into something, putting energy into something, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing until boom, something happens. It's not taking it away, it's not taking it down, it's not like, oh my god, all your work is for nothing. No. It's just coming in as a challenge. This boom comes in as a challenge. You know, potentially a big one, but I don't see it as taking you off course or, you know, it's just a little bit of, oh shit, how do we navigate through this, you know, kind of a deal. The energy attached to you, the Ten of Swords, the Fool, the King of Pentacles. Oh, so you got someone here by your side with this one. Very much open, very much in tune with whatever it is you're building on, potentially together. The problem with them is that maybe this is a challenge. Um, they're panicking for a minute there. They're being taken by fear for a slight minute, and then they start to panic. And it's like, uh-oh, you lost your teammate here. <laughs> maybe that's the actual challenge because like where are they at and they're right next to you but because they're panicking you can't see them because they're lost in that energy and it's like what the hell are they doing move you know kind of a deal so yeah it's just a little bit of a bump in the road a little bit of a big one um i don't i don't we'll see for the connection the six of cups the king of swords the page of swords um, I'm not seeing this as an energy of one of you is in charge necessarily, but whoever this is attached to you is definitely carrying, energetically speaking, that kind of an energy, which is not a bad one. It almost feels like, you know, they know the way to go, so you're just going along with them because it's easier. They're showing you the way, but they're not coming through as I'm your boss or I'm your leader or I'm, your, you know, no. It's just energetically speaking. It kind of falls on them in that department. So if the boss is down, it's like, where the fuck do I go? You know? That's kind of how this reading is coming through. Because something is happening here on their side where they're going from the King of Swords to the Page of Swords. So that tells me, okay, they're, they're, they're kind of lost for a split second there. So something could be happening at a personal level that affects the path of this, you know, for them. Um, okay. It, it seems like a big deal kind of a thing, but energetically speaking, I'm not seeing it as a big ass blockage. I'm seeing it as a bump in the road, but it's something you can overcome. So it's not the end of the world, you know, kind of a deal. That's how I'm getting this one. Let me see what the universe has. Man, but it's, it's big. Ten of cups, four of cups, two of cups. Yeah, it's affecting you big time. Both of you look quite upset. But again, the energy that's beyond that seems to be pulling you in there and it's it's gonna be fine no matter how big it is. And it, it does look quite big. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Was that an orb? <laughs> quite the big challenge. Um, but again, I'm seeing, I'm seeing it continuing after in much smoother energies and more of a flow to things. Yeah, so you could be hitting something in the road, but that's it. <clears throat> All right, moving on to Aquarius.
on your side you get the temperance card the devil the page of swords uh check in with um your patience for your lack of uh you're losing your patience a lot here <clears throat> that's the only issue to this one other than that energetically speaking and what i can see here in this dynamic it feels like everything flows quite okay i see you on your side losing your patience here and there you know and it doesn't it doesn't bring anything good to the situation if anything it just complicates it or makes it look a little ugly which that is not what this energy is it's not ugly at all so for um the energy attached to you the six of cups the queen of wands the page of wands um i like how this there's such a contrast here at play with uh, and again, as a reminder, the collective has gone through massive death processes, but massive rebirth processes are happening because of that too. So that tells me that while a big chunk of us is dying, the big kid in us is coming to the surface. So what I'm looking at is almost like an interaction between those processes, right? So someone is showing up really confident, really good, really like, oh my God, I can't wait in that rebirth process. But maybe childish at times like i see a lot of that lately too with that aspect of that inner child coming to the surface where for someone that's going through a death process at the same time they're looking at that and it's like cut it out <laughs> you know it's annoying or something so we're definitely coming from different spaces here you're all you need to do is work on your patience um here with this one but this energy is looking really really good to the point of having fun with life with experiences with all sorts of things in your opinion maybe too much fun maybe that's why you're losing your patience it depends of course on the context but energetically speaking i'm like i'm seeing an innocent kind of an energy that just wants to yay you know kind of a deal but anyways for the connection the ten of cups the magician the king of wands yeah, and you want that. You're showing up as, energetically speaking, aligning with that energy. But if, you know, if you're not in the moment with it and with an open heart with it and kind of concerning yourself with who knows what, thinking about other stuff, you're not going to be present. That's going to give you that uh, lack of patience there. And you're going to, I don't care for this. I don't, whatever, you know. So try to be a little more present with this energy. I feel like it's one of those energies that you're not necessarily interacting. No, not interacting. You are interacting with it. Um, potentially not focusing on it or feeling like it's not at the, you know, the main focus for you because you may be focused someplace else. But this is one of those to the sides that's very important. Think of it as, you know, maybe you're focusing on work a lot and paying the bills and, and then you have a kid at home or something that just wants your attention for a couple of minutes you know kind of looks a little bit like that or this could be even a friend or someone but it's an energy that does you good i can see that you you're manifesting around this connection like okay this is good for me you know so when you're with it try being with it whatever's at your main focus put that to the side and just be with this energy you know what i mean so i don't know feels good it's just a, a lack of patience on your part at times with it but uh, let's see what the universe has. Six of Wands, Nine of Wands, the Strength card. You're struggling with something also. That's why it's so hard to keep yourself in the moment with this one. Because you want to. I see you wanting to. But telling me it's difficult, you know. I actually have some issues going on or whatever the case. Which, valid, true. Okay, take care of those issues. But even if it's for a couple of minutes here, it will do you so good. Even dealing with those issues as you come back to them. You know what I mean? it's a great energy it's almost think of it as you recharging um so okay and that's it <clears throat> all right moving on to gemini
Okay, on your side, you get the Hermit, the uh, World card, the Nine of Wands. A cycle is coming to a close for you. You have a little bit of resistance to it where you're not letting it close, close quite yet. So you're still kind of working your way. Like a big chunk of you is aware and it's like, okay, this is closing off, it's happening. But there's a little part of you that's like, no, 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 don't close off just yet, you know. Um, <clears throat> the energy attached to you, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Swords. This is an energy that's attached to you, but not through any means that are emotional, basically. Their heart is closed off. So they're showing up pretty cold, pretty in delivering whatever they need to deliver towards you. Words, whatever, actions, whatever they're doing here. Uh, they're not emotionally driven um, in this openness towards you. They seem pretty cold. I'm not sure if that's how they are or if that's how you perceive them to be. But for the connection, the Four of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're you're looking to be open to them from an emotional standpoint. But it's not like, oh, I love you and you don't love me kind of a deal. It's not showing up like that. I feel like whatever cycle is closing has to do with how this dynamic here is shifting. You know what I mean? Because um, it is shifting from somewhere. But anyways, let's see what the universe has. The High Priestess, the Tower, the Fool. My God, how you're presenting. You know what's up. You know what's up here. You know what's going on and where this is going. Um, you feel it. You're giving me your intuition knows. You would like to see yourself beyond that disaster that's coming into play in the sense of the closing of the cycle and how it's potentially going to feel. And then it's like, okay, I know it's coming. I know it's on the way. Or I know I'm in it already. I would like for the damage to be done. And then, yay, you know, we're free. Um, you're kind of presenting it to me in that way. And yeah, it's, it's a natural, well, you're trying your best to let it be as natural as possible. This ending of a cycle and, um, transformation of whatever this is into what it needs to be next you know what i mean so transitioning into a next phase here for the situation which could be good could be well it's all good it's just a matter of is it gonna uh, be better in terms of feeling this or is it gonna be well i'm not feeling much for this anymore i don't know i have no idea where this is going but Anyways, that's it. Moving on to water signs, Pisces. your side you get the knight of pentacles the lovers the queen of wands you're feeling really good about a connection but things are moving quite um i wouldn't say slow because i i'd say this is a natural movement for it you your energy is kind of like enjoying the moment enjoying the ride kind of a thing you know feels good though the energy attached to you, the Knight of Cups, the Temperance card, the Six of Cups. They're they're coming along, they're catching up with you, where you're at there. Uh, they're almost like right behind you, like a second behind you, energetically speaking. So the energies feel good on both sides here. And how this energy of whatever this is is being shared. Uh, for the connection, the Four of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Cups. There's a inability at times, not all the time, the inability to stay connected to your heart. Not you necessarily. It could be them, it could be you. I, I have no idea who this is, you know? 
uh, I would put it on them given that they're a second behind you there in terms of energetically catching up with you there and how this really feels and is flowing as an energy. Um, yeah, could be that they get distracted, you know, like, oh, oh, I feel this and it's so good and I'm right there with you. Oh, butterfly, you know, kind of a deal. I don't know, it kind of looks like that a little bit. It's not a bad energy, it's just, okay, there's a little of distraction at times. All right, let's see what the universe has. The Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Emperor. Yeah, there's that sense of not staying uh, constantly tuned into self and I don't think it's you um, could be because roles can be reversed but I'm feeling it more on this side um, they're doing it it's it's one of those practice makes perfect so they're trying but at times they get kind of disconnected from how they truly feel what they truly want and things like that and that could appear as they're not with me here they're not you know we're not on the same page but for the most part, you, you are. They just kind of went a little on the upper side of the page or something where you might have missed them and be like, oh, they just left the page where it's like, no, no, same page, same page, just a little up or down from where you're at. So overall, it's good. It's just um, a sense of distraction there on someone's side. All right. Okay, moving on to Scorpio. How the hell did it end up here? Okay. On your side, you get the Five of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. You're at that uh, threshold of the death process and the rebirth process. I love this for you. You're actually feeling quite good. You're looking right, really stable here. Like holding your ground while you're passing energetically from a death pro Well, you're a Scorpio. That's what you're made of death process, rebirth, death process, rebirth, you got, you got this energy. For the rest of us, it's like, oh my God, Scorpio's like chilling. It's like, yeah, it's all good. You'll be good kids, you know, that's kind of how you're showing up here. Um, going from one energy to another and owning it and being like, yeah, we're good, okay. The energy attached to you, the moon, the six of pentacles, the seven of cups, you're attracting all sorts of great energy through this, um, which I'm not surprised, especially because you're in this energy of, you know, one foot in the rebirth process of things. But it's it's energy that ties together with your frequency. So things that just, you know how sometimes things just kind of combine together and you, you go through a day and everything kind of comes into place and you're looking at it and it's like, oh my God, They abuse those sirens here, or I'm not used to city life anymore. <laughs> okay. Like there's a siren every five minutes or something, I don't know. Anyways, um, and you feel like everything falls into place and it's like, I'm not doing anything. It's, it just happened in that way and it feels amazing. And it's those kinds of energies seem to, seem to be quite attracted to you at this point in time. A lot of these things you're not even seeing. You know th these energies that are coming your way like that you'll, you'll see them after uh the fact or something <clears throat> for the connection the fool the ace of swords the magician you're feeling better and better each day you know you're coming you're stepping into this energy of self and just manifesting from that place and you're just kind of open and playing with this energy out there in the wild wild west of the universe you know, especially as you start seeing what you're attracting 
it's gonna be really, really nice. Now I'm not seeing this as a specific energy attached to you. It's more of a general kind of an idea of what you're attracting and it's responding quite well to your energy. And you being, as far as you being connected to those kinds of energies, you're, you're open, you're, you're like games on, let's go. As long as it's good energies, I'm in. And it's, it's, that's when you're attracting, you know, cause something like that is happening inside of you. So pretty cool reading. Um, let's see what the universe has. The Three of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Wands. Oh, there is a, a, a partnership that's shown up here. Maybe a friendship, maybe someone you're working with. Um, where, for the most part, everything's good, but there's something that's not working out in there fully. You know, it's not allowing for this to be what it can be. Um, I feel like through this process, you'll probably establish what's going to happen here next because for now it's looking a little blocked it's looking a little maybe kept at a distance like uh, whatever kind of a deal so as these energies kind of establish themselves even the ones that are that you're pulling in i feel like things will change for this dynamic as well in the sense of okay should i keep it still kind of at bay or should i just put my guard down for now your guard is up when it comes to this. So maybe it's a friendship, maybe you had a fight or who knows, but it, it's gonna change this dynamic soon enough in terms of it's not gonna stay like this once the energies around you are more settled. Okay. All right, moving on to Cancer. Okay, on your side, you get the Four of Cups, the uh, Eight of Wands, the High Priestess. Uh, you seem a little bit upset. You know when you have to, you have to, you don't have to, but you choose to say something that feels like it's honoring you. It feels right to you. It feels like, you know, this is what I feel and I want to tell you this. I have to address it to you. Um, you do that in a situation here at the same time you seem a little upset almost like mm, i kind of disturbed something here by doing that so you almost seem upset with yourself that you valued and honored yourself by putting an energy out there that you felt needed to be put out there you know you may have you're looking at the results of that and you're like uh what did i do um which is if that's the case here try not to be upset with yourself because you can't have control over the results of what we feel and what we think our truth is it's going to impact some energies around us but it is what it is you know you're still you're you're still having to be honest with yourself here so uh, for the energy attached to you the tower the Knight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it is looking like it's a big deal. Oh my God, you said this or you did that. or uh, But that's just because that's kind of a reactive energy right there. Right there where it's, it's looking like, you know, that's not on you to control how they're going to react. It's looking a little explosive, a little very passionate. Like, oh my God, uh, what happened here? You know, uh, they're coming back around. Or just give them time. They're going to come back around from this. For some reason, I don't know why they took it a little bit in drama queen mode. Um, you're just being honest about something that feels, reveals your honesty, you know, in a situation. And they're like, oh my God, whatever. It's coming back around this energy. So it's not going to be drama queen forever and ever and ever surrounding this. Um, for the connection, the page of wands, the eight of cups, the lovers. 
were you the one who was the one that I did the reading for recently the immature were you or was it Pisces I don't know one of you because this looks a little like oh I'm upset mm. which is a bunch of bullshit because I see what this energy feels <laughs> yeah they may be I don't see them being upset I see them pulling the drama queen face of yeah I don't care it's a little, you know, where beyond that, there's definitely quite the connection that they feel. Anyways, I don't know if this is, I don't remember if it was you or uh, Pisces that dealt with a little bit of immature, kind of, not immature, but uh, childish, kind of. Uh, anyways, the page of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the page of swords. Alright, well, you know what? There's lessons to be learned here. There's, yeah, there's people that may have been upset or... But you can't manage everybody for the sake of, you know, what you feel and what you feel is right. You, you can't protect everybody from your truth. Everybody's going to react in the way that they're going to react, you know? Um, if people get hurt, it's on them that they get hurt by someone showing up in their truth. What can I tell you? You know what I mean? So there's definitely lessons to be learned that you're not necessarily seeing now, but you will. Um, and there's some fears activated. That's why the reaction of drama queen, you know, through that. So it's basically calling someone out to be truthful about themselves. When someone shows up in their truth is calling out uh, whoever they're interacting with to show up in their truth. And people are not used to that, you know, being pulled out to be truthful as well. So it's gonna create a little bit, it's triggering. It's gonna create a little bit of a drama queen mode here so but that's it that's what i have for you at this moment in time i would call blue but and i do see him every day though and when i see him he kind of gets all with my mom and i'm like dude why are you why are you trying to to get her to get you bones because i know your moves he's like no i'm showing you that i'm manipulating your mom i can do that i know i, I know you can do that you're a dog and i know you know who to manipulate and who doesn't fall for that and it's usually the main mama doesn't fall for that everybody else is fair game okay but anyways um i gotta go if this ends at the time that i yeah this is going to end at the time I think. Yeah, I got to go pack everything that I didn't, which is probably not a lot, but by this time I would be packed. And uh, I'll see you guys back home then. I am going to make some changes in the room potentially that I'm reading in. I might turn it back towards like half on the wall, half, I don't, I don't know. Because I've seen a memory on uh, social media of Juno in that room and I saw how the room was set up and I'm like, huh. Okay, I want some changes here. I don't know. We shall see. Don't hold me accountable for that because maybe I'm going to need some time to probably recover. I don't know. But knowing me, I could potentially go home and even before I sleep, I could move the whole room around because, you know. But we'll see. But anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks again for all the support that I got from you guys without you even knowing that you've sent massive support my way and um love you guys love you guys back and see you home bye